time to start on the warehouse district. I have some money left though and it's not much but improved movement is a good idea. What we need next really is hacking skill level 2 to open locked doors. This will probably become apparent why we need it very soon. Here we go, the warehouse district. A locked door. I can't get through it. Luckily there are windows. We still gotta watch out for these guys. That's nice and easy. Grab this bottle of money. Oh, lots of money. 72 quid for that. 32 for that. The money's going up quickly already. New robots again. They can be pains. Well, let's be fair. They can all be pains. I don't know how much of that beam hits the floor and how much it's going to hit me. for these guys this time. Hmm, there's a computer down there. I can't get to it though. Never mind, what can I get to? That red thing is a security console. That will turn off or deactivate the flying robots. Searchlights when they're there, but I've hit a dead end there, so let's move on. I can't do anything with the security console now, but that's okay. Gotta watch out for the window again. I think I'm gonna oh, go over the top and approach it from this side. And now it's looking at me there. That's not very friendly. Should give me the advantage of height to do that. Gotta watch out for this little guy as well. Done. Three thousand for one computer. I'm raking in the cash already. And here we go, I can go around the other side, but nope, that's a locked door. No other way in. That's the end of this heist. So I don't get everything, but what I do get is a decent chunk more than in the slums. So again, what I've got to do now is balance buying abilities with saving up 25k. Now I can't buy anything there. Uh, of course the first thing to do is be able to unlock doors. I can also afford Action Hero. I honestly do not understand that ability so I tend not to buy it. Eyes are quite good. Let's you look up and down so you can see what you're getting into. Bombs are almost necessary. We saw the closed off period, oh, closed off section. Bombs let us break through to them. I will buy some bionic eyes. It's cheap, it's quite handy. I might not buy anything else until I get to the next security clearance. We'll see. Let's see if I can start making some money. Immediately there's new things. Those are mines. You want to avoid the red beam. But 
but yeah, I just ran straight into a, a locked door and distracted myself. Um, we need to get rid of that guy. Which might take a while. So, those are mines. Oh, here we go. That's nice and quick. I might be able to jump across that. Yes. And then we can hack it. It's gone green. It means it's safe. Which is great. Although, it has to be said it's safe for us. But if a, a robot goes through that, it will set off the mine. And that's important to understand. Because uh, it lets you use them as an offensive weapon. But you can also get caught up in the explosion. Um, and mines will destroy computers. But their explosion radius is three blocks, I think, in total. So, um, and you can set them off on purpose. Like that. And it blows up the surrounding area, which can be handy. And that's what bomb do, bombs do, in fact. But you can place bombs. Anyway, here's a computer. So let's start hacking. I'm just coming down here to smack this little guy. Done. Uh, there's not much point getting into there just yet. It's also worth noting you can use bombs to get through here, but if you blow up a security station it sets off all the alarms, which isn't what you want. Hi guy. Okay. I was looking that way, let's see if we can get him from the other side. I've got bionic eyes, I can look down. So I think I've got... Well, let's see where I can get to here. I'm just set up bombs. It's good fun. Um, I don't think I need bombs to get through to there. Let's have a look. down that pit and then come back up with him pointing his beam right at me. This is safe. Uh, I could run through that door, but let's just make this safe. Ah, oh, that bouncy guy's going to cause me problems. Uh, also, when you're hacking a mine, you need to be, you need to get it right if you press the wrong button. It sets off the mine. Oh, I don't like this. And I can't set off the mine because if I do that, I'll blow up the computer. Maybe I can hit this guy as he jumps. Nope. Right. I need to approach from a different angle. Um... Can I get through there? I'm looking at this place. I could bomb through there, but then there's a spiky boy. Now if you jump and land on him, you die. So I don't want to do that. What other options do I have? I think I need two bombs to get through there and a third to get down there I'm going to give that a go select bombs let's place one and bombs will kill you so you've got to run away a 
if I place it here, it'll also break, break through to the security center, which will let me get that cash. With any luck. Oh, I've got to watch out for that fella. Don't point that at me. There we go. Oh, I can't do anything with that, but I can get that cash. Set that off and hope for the best. Good, good. One bomb left. I'll put it there. Now, an important thing to think about bombs is how do you get out of the place? Because if I'd been a bit more careless, even with two jumps, I might not have been able to get out. Which does kind of ruin a heist when you get lots of money. And then you can't escape. But now I can approach from another angle. I disarm this mine. Got to be careful though, because if that jumping guy comes this way, he will set it off. But that's that done. Okay, so hacking computer. I can press down, right, left. That's fine. It doesn't do anything bad. But with mines, if you do it wrong, it sets them off. You've got to run away. And with the security center, if you get, if you hack that wrong sets off the alarms as well. But some things you need to be careful with, some you don't. Now, I could get that money, it would complete everything. It might be a good bonus. Those spikes are annoying me. This guy's going to be a problem, but he'll just wander along. He doesn't hurt you as long as you don't jump on him. And when you hit them, they tend to fly from one direction, so what you can do when he gets close, push him into the pit. There we go. Now, if we get the jumper across here, right, I can get that. Smack him. There we go. And I think that's everything. Which makes for a good heist. And shows the importance of having bombs. That's good, I only need a few more K. So let's just do another heist and move on, hopefully move on very quickly. That's an easy way to uh, deal with that. Just in case I need bombs to get into there, I don't know yet. But there's another computer up there with a window. And another one up there. Ah, oh, this is loads of money. New monster. Monster? Robot. This one takes three hits. But if you hit them when they recover, you can get two in nice and quickly. Best not to risk following up. Just be patient. Money just lying around. So there's a bit of cash there. There's more beneath it. That's going to take one bomb to get through this level. 
to to get down there. There's another computer up there though, which I can get to. So let's do that first. Oh, I can't get to it. So I think I'd rather get to a computer than what's beneath me. It's just a matter of where do I put things. Where do I put the bombs? I think I'll need two if I do it here. Let's try here. I'm hoping to sort of drop down from the left. easy so I'll just jump back once he's gone and now this should be quite straightforward yes watch out for the mine So it opens up everything, so let's try this. Lovely. Not great though. Oh, I could... I could... Take this. I think what I need to do is... Somehow get across there. Or do that. Push him off the level. Everything. But we've got most places and have plenty of loot. Plenty of loot. Look at all that money. Back to the airship. Over to the workbench. Say goodbye to the warehouse district. 